Okay, so I'm going to be teaching you how to do the first experiment, uh, the op-amp one, inverting and non-inverting. So first what we have to do is, you know, the basics, file, new, then um, click on project, new project. And, uh, after that, you enter some random name, for example, let's say um, op-amp, click on OK. So after that you get this, just um, create a blank project and create a uh, click on OK. So uh, after that hit hit B. So it's basically uh, placing a part and type LM741. This is the open that we're going to be using. So place it over there on the screen and uh, followed by that uh, let's add some resistors. R when you enter R itself you get R analog click on that. Uh, Place one over here and place the other one over here. Okay. <clears throat> and after that, uh, hit on escape, place a part, resign. Resign, place one, place a part over here because you're gonna first try it for inverting. And uh, we also need VDC. Hit VDC and place one part over here and place the other one over here. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, let's start connecting them for now. Uh, so from V sign <coughs> to R1, and from here to this point, mm -hmm. and this resistor goes here, and you connect that one to terminal number six. From seven, you connect it. To the positive part of V2 and from 4 connect it to the positive part of V3 again. Okay, so it's almost done. We just have to insert the ground now. Uh, hit G alphabet on your keyboard and uh, select the ground. Place one for each of the DC sources. Place the other one over here. Okay, and uh, hit on escape, and let's again connect this terminal 3 to the ground, and from V sign, gonna take another one to the ground. So the circuit is done, so we just need to enter the values now, and so this one would be 15 volts, and this one's minus 15. Okay, uh, V off would be 0. V amplitude would be 1. And frequency, let's set it as, set it as 50. 50, okay. And this resistance would be 10k. So the circuit is complete. Um, now we have to create a simulation profile. New simulation profile. Test. One. Okay. Um, enter the run to time is, no, first you select the analysis type is time domain. And uh, in the box for run to time, type 100 milliseconds. Hit OK. Okay, so now we'll place the voltage probes one over here the other one somewhere over here the circuit now let's run it run okay. <laughs> yeah so this is the um required diagram that we're supposed to get and the plot that we're supposed to get for um, no pamp. So let me show you the other one, the non inverter one. Um, this, there are small modifications that you have to remove this whole part. Uh, let me show the diagram again just in case. This is how it should look like, and if you want to take down the values, uh, 
you have this toggle cursor click on it and select any part of the program you want to choose and align it and you'll see the readings in the bottom end over here just take down the values okay um, that's it for inverter for non-inverter Um, we need V sign again. Just keep the other half of the circuit as it is. And from here, let's place V sign over here. And, um, sorry, place the ground. Well, let's place it somewhere over here. And uh, wire this again. Oh, yeah. and this one to this and this one to the ground again and uh, the same values again zero one and um, this was 50 yep. and that's pretty much it the same circuit again just you don't even need to change your simulation, just run it as it is. Oh, you have to place the voltage for one of them. So click on this again. Oops. And place it near the V sign one. It's for the input basically. And run. So as you see non-inverter, it's in phase. And in the uh, inverter one, it was not in phase, exactly. It was, it had a 180 degree phase shift. So that's pretty much it. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching.